This video explores Genus Ice Partial Flow. To help designers improve their efficiency and achieve their power, performance and area goals, Cadence has introduced Ice Partial Technology. This unified physical optimization technology is integrated into both Cadence Genus Synthesis Solution and Cadence Innovus Implementation System. This flow is built on the concept of unified placement and routing engines. When executing the physical synthesis stage, the ice partial flow directly calls the Giga Place Engine and Giga Opt Optimizer from the Innova system. And hence, using the identical software engine accomplishes a unified placement, routing, and optimization flow from front end to back end. Optimizing the ice partial flow using the same engines improves the predictability of front end synthesis to back end placement and routing. It reduces optimization efforts that waste runtime, area, power, and it shortens the turnaround time. Hence, the goal of ice partial technology is to improve predictability for the ITIL designers and deliver better PPA results. The GigaOpt optimizer also enables ice partial technology to use advanced engines such as Innovus Advanced Analysis Engine (AAE) and Early Clock Flow in the synthesis stage. This early clock flow ECF improves the consistency between the placement optimization and clock tree optimization and hence it improves the quality of results. As well as the clock gates and skewed macros now are considered in synthesis which further helps in improving the predictability and QR. The ice partial flow also introduces physical restructuring and supports multiple features including MMMC, ECF, Useful SKU, MBIT, ILM, etc. The ICE partial technology introduces physical restructuring in the implementation flow. Early in the design flow, synthesis has access to power techniques like mapping and architecture selection to trade off between timing, area, and power. However, the accuracy of the final placement, routing, and timing is poor. Late in the design cycle, accuracy is high, but timing closure techniques are limited to placement, routing and cell sizing. So in the figure, we are showing traditional RTL synthesis engineers need to return to the RTL when optimizing a violating path, over constraining and resynthesizing to obtain the path structure. And this method may cause unpredictable results and waste area and power. With the introduction of this ice partial technology. It uses accurate timing information post placement and clock tree synthesis. It can use the genus solution to perform powerful logic restructuring and hence saving traditional timing closure techniques to only to be used when needed. This physical restructuring enables a more power and area efficient timing closure methodology. Let's check out predictability and PPA improvement results because of the ice partial flow. Since this ice partial technology integrates with GigaPlace and GigaOpt tools, the gap between the front end and back end is closed and hence it results in excellent predictability of PPA earlier in the design flow. And this enables RTL designers to be more productive and confident when they are handing off their RTL. So in the figure we are showing the comparison between the WNS after ice partial technology and after Innova's system placement. We can see the two results of the different designs shows strong consistency. So the results of ice partial technology is reliable for PPA prediction and netlist evaluation. These genus ice partial results are available to the designer earlier than POD enabling decisions to be made faster. Let's check now PPA improvement results. Ice partial technology delivers improved full flow PPA results through the GigaPlace and GigaOpt tools, ECF that is early clock flow, physical restructuring and MUX and data path restructuring. The whole flow runtime of the ice partial flow has also been greatly reduced from bringing a higher quality design into the universe system. Now, when you are into the Innovus, 
without having to optimize the placement the inno system only does incremental optimization and therefore converging timing quickly